Hi, William and Mary. Uh, this is a flat hat, and I'm Emily Nye here with Student Assembly Presidential Candidate Chase Coons and Vice Presidential Candidate Mel Allen. Thank you for coming and for being with us. Thanks, Emily. Um, my first question is for you, Chase. Um, if you could just kind of give us a synopsis of why you were running for Student Assembly President. Yeah, sure. Um, so I've had the fortune of being involved in the Student Assembly um, since my freshman year. Um, freshman and sophomore year, I served in the Senate. Um, and this year, I serve um, as a Secretary of Outreach in the Executive Department. Um, but for me, really, I think it's my involvement outside of the Student Assembly um, that really have kind of shaped my perspective on why I'm running um, and why I'm running with Mel. Um, being involved in um, on-campus positions in terms of working in the Office of Community Engagement um, in the Dean of Students Office, um, roles as the res research extension in the Government Department, um, my involvement in a lot of different clubs and activities around campus, um, you know, just really typical William, William Mary um, student activities um, are really what I got into when I came to William Mary. Um, and so running for student assembly president really wasn't part of that. Um, but being involved um, really kind of gave me a perspective, perspective on where things can change and be improved. Um, but really just the, you know, being involved in a lot of different things on campus and seeing, seeing where we can, um, where we're really focused on is having a more collaborative student assembly um, and seeing, you know, working in a collaborative manner in a lot of my other organizations and seeing where that can be improved on in the Student Assembly. Okay, good. Um, what sets uh, your team apart from the various other candidates that are running for the same offices? Yeah, well I think um, one of the great things um, about us is, uh, which maybe can be said with the other candidates, but we're great friends, um, and which really makes it this, a, you know, this is a fun process for us. Um, and we have a lot of great uh, people supporting us. Um, and I think you know it's been fun so far, and I think it will continue to be um, you know a fun thing to get a lot of people involved. Um, one of the other things that set us apart is you know we love the the communication and dialogue that can go on and be you know and go with this campaign in terms of our ideas and our platform, and something that we think can really carry over into potentially if, if we are fortunate enough to um, to win into you know the team and the administration that you know we put together. Um, you know we you know the communication people come up to us on campus. Um, you know, we encourage that, we hope people do, um, and so, you know, we like to, you know, share our ideas and people share theirs with us. To add to that, um, Chase and I think we're listeners and we can both serve as facilitators for the larger community of William Mary, and um, we come from very diverse backgrounds, and so I think between the two of us we can cover a lot of ground in terms of networking and skills. And um, we're just very excited, and we have lots of respect for each other, and we have a lot of respect for the rest of the campus as well. Um, I know that the biggest part of your platform, um, and kind of the point that you hit home, is uh, involving the students with the community resources that are available to us. Um, could you just elaborate a little bit on uh, some of the major organizations or things you want to partner with, or what you really want to bring to the Lamar community? Okay. So um, a lot of the issues that surround SA involve funding, and we are under a limited budget in terms of what we can ask from the student activities fee, and which goes out to the student body. And so we've noticed that um, oftentimes this this fund is so split up into the different organizations that it serves very specific populations within the William Mary community and I think through um, more open communication, through accessibility to the student assembly, um, student organizations can definitely collaborate on bigger events that can target a greater amount of the population and make even better memories across campus. And um, so we have a lot of great ideas about this. Uh, a few key points that we'll target are yeah. transparency for sure, um, diversity initiatives, yeah. What is a unique aspect of your campaign that you're looking forward to bringing to William & Mary? Yeah, well I think um, one of the very important aspects of this of uh, William & Mary and uh, something that's very relevant and pertinent that comes, a lot of, that comes up a lot is um, the issue of mental health on campus. Um, so we have a couple ideas for how to address that. Um, you know, first off, it's really important that there's um, a continuation of education and um, more opportunity for an open dialogue on campus about um, students' mental health. Obviously, William Mary is a very intense environment, um, you know, for all students, um, with all our extracurriculars, academics, etc. Um, 
So, you know, one of the ways we think we can really do uh, improve on is you know, partnering with the administration. Um, you know, in fact, actually today in, your, in the flat hat talking about um, the new Dean of Students, um, Dean Thomas, um, I actually had the opportunity to sit down with her for lunch as she was a candidate um, and was really excited to talk to her about mental health and, um, you know, her role as a new Dean of Students and really being um, a figure on campus that students recognize and go through to for assistance. She has a lot of great ideas um, on how to make mental health um, a more a discussed issue on campus. Um, so students feel more comfortable about that. Um, and asking for help. Um, and so working with the administration is very important on that because they're the ones that can really um, lead the way on, on making those opportunities. Now one way to address uh, the root issue would be to create a stronger sense of community because if you feel like you have people on this campus that love and support you, you won't feel as alone and that's very important. And we have, our campaign is all about inclusiveness and collaboration in order to facilitate a greater sense okay. of community. and a greater bond within the tribe. Yeah, um, and then another aspect to, to addressing the issue of mental health is um, obviously creating that community on campus, but also providing opportunities for yeah. students to get off campus. You know, if, if William is a very stressful environment, you know, very, you know, every once in a while getting off campus, you know, we really like the idea of providing off-campus transportation. Um, days in Richmond, days in DC, um, every while, focus around big events that are happening in those cities that allow um, all students to get off campus for big events and you know have a good time and then come back and you know enjoy our time at William Mary as well. Um, and you know this is all, oftentimes an issue for freshmen and sophomores especially who just uh, kind of have those barriers to get in um, to concerts and everything else camp, uh, uh, you know uh, off campus events. Um, and then within that idea specifically, one of the great ideas that we feel we have is um, to partner with other universities in the state of Virginia um, to allow for transportation between William and Mary and say ODU or, or uh, UVA in Charlottesville for um, you know concerts, other uh, big events that are happening. Uh, we think that's a very feasible idea um, in terms of partnering with those universities. Um, you know, in a great way that's a, you know a fun and new uh, service that can be provided, but also you know in a different route um, addresses some of the issues of mental health. Chase, you are a member of Kurt Mills' uh, executive staff. You are secretary yeah. of outreach, mm -hmm. and um, something that I know in his term as president he's been very adamant about is not raising the student activities fee. Um, if elected, what is your stance on that and how would you carry it forward into your term? Yeah, um, that's something that we've thought about and um, we definitely agree that it is at a point where um, you know there's no need to increase it. I think really what we want to focus on is maximizing um, the resources that are currently available and you know through our ideas of, on how to collaborate um, we love where the direction of the essay has gone in terms of hosting big events, um, you know, most times in concerts and speakers. Um, but, you know, those are things that happen kind of once a semester, um, a few times a year. Um, one of the things that the essay student assembly can do and what we think we can really do is facilitate um, the opportunity for more clubs and organizations to collaborate together to host, you know, larger um, events um, to together that reach a wide range of students. Because um, currently, you know, there's a lot of great events happening, um, you know, very frequently, but only reach, you know, the, the, organ the students that are in those organizations. Um, if we can bring more groups together, um, and, you know, the student assembly is in a, un in a unique position um, to kind of see where connections can be made, um, to see who has like-minded goals um, and, you know, similar interests, and, you know, bring those groups together to host larger events. And, you know, that's one way to, you know, where we can stay within the $98, within the current um, fee, but still you know, promote larger events that reach more campus. So, um, you know, we definitely um, feel that we want to keep it at um, where it is. You know, it's been growing um, in terms of the cost has been increasing so significantly over the last um, couple of years. And so where it's at is a good point, and we would rather see how we can work within that um, and kind of bring groups together to maximize that potential. Very good. Um, one of the big issues that has come to the students uh, regarding the student assembly is uh, the management of the budget and um, where the student money is being spent. Um, if elected, what are your plans for addressing our budget? Yeah, no, I think, uh, you know, that's obviously very important. Um, and w one of the ways that we find that it could be most effective is really the education and communication of, you know, the financial budget and the situation of the student assembly with, with the students. You know, and currently the student assembly is making progress on that in terms of, you know, kind of budget watch and things like that. 
But the problem with that we feel is a lot of times these large numbers, you're talking tens of thousands of dollars, like big increments, that doesn't really mean anything to the individual student because you know their fee is $98, you know, that's their money, where is it being spent? Um, so one of the ways that we feel like we can really address this is by making the information that we're um, sharing with the students more personal, more individualized. So when a student sees, you know, on our, and this goes, kind of goes into our transparency platform um, in terms of revamping the Student Assembly website, you know, that's something that really needs to happen. Um, and we think, you know, if, if you look at our campaign, our current website, and some of our other media initiatives, um, you know, I think that's an uh, indication of things to come that we can accomplish in terms of really revamping the Student Assembly website. Um, making it more of an interactive platform, a resource for students to go to. And so on top of that, with in terms of finances, you know, a real individualized breakdown of like, so if you pay, Emily, if you're paying $98, a breakdown percentage-wise or however, where the $98 is going. Um, and so that's one thing that the transparency of the website can bring. Um, if you have that as a resource where students go to, um, I think it does, it does a number of other things. Um, it, brings about the collaboration and the connection. As our slogan says, we, you know, we're going to be leading with you. And so, you know, at the same time, we're going to be doing a lot of work. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's going to be all, you know, for you guys. And, you know, we're going to need um, some help along the way, too. But, you know, we're excited for that. Good. Well, this has been the Flat Hat. Thank you for joining us. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh, God.